What's going on guys, Old School Brian here, and today I got everything that I picked up, or that was given to me during Christmas. Um, my wife got me some real awesome stuff this year, and just a little side note, if your wife or girlfriend didn't get you anything good, make sure they watch this video. So, we're going to hop right into it. Um, some, like, everything is really cool. My wife usually really thinks everything out. Um, hunts down bargains and stuff like that and completely surprises me. I have no clue that I'm getting any of this stuff. Um, just got some of the stuffs in boxes, so let me pull it out. Let's get into it. Uh, the first thing she got me, we'll kind of save the best for last. Uh, the first thing that she got me was a shirt with a Nintendo controller on it. So, um, pretty cool. I don't think I have one with a Nintendo controller on it yet. Uh, I got one with the Atari logo, but uh, whatever. Um, next, she got me the Super Mario Brothers chess set, uh, collector's edition. Um, really cool. I probably will break this out and play it. Um, no need to keep it sealed. Uh, we'll have some fun with it. So, um, yeah, she got me that. Last year, I got the... Monopoly set. Nintendo Monopoly set. Alright, so next up, I got a boxed copy, boxed and complete copy of Punch-Out! Um, classic series. Boxing's main event. Uh, very cool. Uh, next up, I got a boxed and complete copy of Star Trek uh, 25th Anniversary. Um, all these boxes are in pristine condition. I mean, they are very good condition. Um, probably better condition than anything I got back here besides games like Wheel of Fortune and stuff like that and nobody bothered to ever take out of the box. Uh, next up, I got a boxed and complete copy of Donkey Kong Classics, which is actually one of my favorite um, box arts for the NES. I don't know why, I think it has something to do with the orange. I had this copy at one point, and um, for some reason I sold it. I don't know why, but I will not be selling this one. It would be kind of a trip if this was the one that was actually mine. Um, but yeah, got that. I got a Tiger Electronics uh, Ninja Gaiden. Uh, very cool, for those of you that know, I collect the hell out of these things. I can never get enough of them. Um, Nick T. Wolf has sent me tons of these, and, you know, just a quick thank you again. He sent me a lot of them. I got a bunch from Classic Game Hunter, so, um, yeah, I collect the hell out of them. Uh, next up, we have a sealed copy um, of Wizards and Warriors for the NES. I believe that this game has been resealed. Um, I don't think... I don't think that... Um, I think that it's been out at one point. I think somebody might have resealed it, and I get that impression because you can hear it moving around inside, so that leads me to believe the styrofoam is not there. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna open this up anyway. Um, no reason to keep it sealed. It's not like this is worth anything. And the box has some discoloration on the back, so yeah, it probably was open at one point, and somebody... Um, sealed it up and when she bought it they didn't say they didn't list it as sealed so it wasn't like they got over on her or anything um, next up I guess I will just stick with the NES games because uh, I got two more things to show you uh, next up is a uh, RPG for the Nintendo uh, the NES and that's uh, a boxed and complete copy of Dragon Warrior 3 um, this one is in very, very good condition. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, very good condition. Extremely happy with it. She definitely knows what she's doing when she's when she's picking out the games. Um, and this is this is I wouldn't say rare, but it's it's hard to find in this condition. I'd say it's probably worth a hundred hundred to one hundred fifty, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely happy to get that. I gotta get some of those uh, 
protectors for the games because I have none of them, and you know I don't know why I've never gotten them, but I definitely got to put some of these in sleeves and some of my uh, Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 games. Cause I got some expensive ones that are kind of getting a little busted up from being on the shelf. The last thing she got me I've never seen before, and this thing really just kind of blew me away when I saw it. Um, it's sealed up, and I'll keep it that way. Uh, but I would like to um, find one that's not sealed and, uh, you know, open it up and, and, you know, just keep it down here. Um, and that's a Super Mario 64 portable AM FM radio. Uh, she picked this up. I'm not exactly sure how much it was, but she did tell me. And uh, what she paid for it was a lot, a lot less than what, what they're worth, you know, in this kind of condition. But, yeah, it's all sealed up. Very cool. The plastic's a little yellowing, which happened. Somebody probably had this at one point in the window um, on the display, and it just never got sold. Uh, yeah, I've never seen one of these. They're very cool. The detail, it's got the red, green, blue, and yellow buttons on them. Um, the Nintendo 64 logo right there, uh, so it's official and everything. The speakers are blue colored, or the covers are, are blue. Um, but yeah, very, very awesome. Very happy with this. And uh, she did an awesome, awesome job, just like she did last year. Um, she always gets me great stuff. She's got me uh, my box Harvest Moon, my uh, box copy of, um, what the hell is it? She got me my Menace Beach, uh, my box copy of Bucky O'Hare. Um, she always gets me awesome stuff, so I'm very, very happy. So that's it, guys. That's everything I got. I will be doing a part two to this video. Um, my son, he got, you know, quite a bit of stuff from Santa, and he really wants to uh, show it off, and he wants to do his own video with me, not in it, um, because he's the star of the show. So thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you later. And let me know what you guys got uh, for Christmas. Let me know what you guys picked up or got from anybody, any gaming-related stuff. Did you get anything cool? You could just leave a... A comment below and let me know. I'd like to see what you guys got or hear what you guys got. And, um, and that's it. I'll see you guys later.